Hey guys, we're back. So Craig Jones, what could we say about Craig Jones? He's just one of a kind. He is different than everyone. He steps out of the box. It's Craig Jones. Whatever he does, he does it alone. He does it in his own way. But it's so, so fun to watch. Guys, we're live here at the B-League Championship. Uh, Craig Jones here and I have Gordon Ryan's brother. He has to come say with me, guys. So let's talk about him, like in depth, right? Enjoy the video and really discover who Craig Jones is. If Troll was a name, it would be called Craig Benjamin Jones. Despite having a middle name that means son of the right hand, Craig has made his sons out of his students. With a record of 59 wins and 19 losses, and closing 2023 on an undefeated streak. Start working on the jaw squeeze with just the creepiest looking Freddy Krueger face I've ever seen. And yeah, got the tap about 30 seconds in, but it was an incredible performance from Craig. Usually he likes to play around, not today. Craig Jones has crowned himself the pound for pound number one grappler in the world. I mean, I think given Philippe Pena is the pound for pound best grappler alive right now, taking him out, I believe firmly puts me at number one. But this is what every grappler is known for. Records, fights. Jumping in, opportunity now for Craig Jones, immediately attacking for the leg lock. And medals. King Gordon Ryan. Right? Yet Craig has much more on his resume. The B-Team co-founder brings his natural talent for being funny, original, and uncensored. We're going to find ways to win, you know? He's a breath of fresh air and a magnifying lens into the activities in the BJJ world. We finally received Gordon Ryan's Valentine's Day flowers. Very caring gesture. X martial gear is some of the best gear I've ever worn. But wait, there's more. Fasten your Nogi shorts belts, because X martial's Dojo Road Show is hitting the road, and it's nothing short of epic. Imagine this, an X martial team, an RV, and a mission to visit gyms far and wide. We're talking challenges that'll have you in splits, literally and figuratively. Meetings with the biggest personalities in the jujitsu world, and a tour so wild, you'll wish your life had a rewind and watch again button. This isn't just a road trip, it's a rolling jujitsu carnival, and it's all captured on our YouTube channel. Picture the funniest, most thrilling parts of jujitsu packed into an RV and sprinkled with that special X martial flair. The Dojo Road Show is where the mats meet the road, and every stop is a story waiting to be told. So, subscribe, like, and get your laugh on, because X martial isn't just about changing the game, we're about making it hilarious. One dojo at a time. Don't miss out on the movement, the sponsorships, and the road show that's making history. One epic YouTube episode at a time. Craig Jones is not your regular serious-minded Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. His comical, hilarious, and mischievous side draws the attention of people to him. People appreciate the fun side he brings to jiu-jitsu. His style of dressing isn't your fashionista in BJJ. Maybe you could take lessons from his teammates, Nicky Rod, who was an ex-model. For Craig, he prefers his hat. Brother, as an Africana, you should know about the strict history of apartheid in your country. Glasses and shorts. Yeah, that's where they're all located. And, um, you know, we've had a big year this year. Or sometimes just pants. Jones podcast is live. We go over some very serious topics. And not forgetting his shirt, where the light heavyweight is always sending a message to his rivals. In his BJJ instructionals, Craig still finds a way to sprinkle some of his humorous side in naming his instructionals, making jujitsu fun for all quicker you go for this, usually the more success we have. So if someone's just hanging out, and I mean, people very rarely just hang out and turn on you and chill out. The former Donaher Death Squad member carries his comical approach to competitions. Craig isn't a degenerate on winning every single match. As long as it pays the bills, he's fine. Do you love winning or hate losing more? I definitely don't hate losing. If it pays the bills, I don't mind. When other athletes come into matches well-prepared, having routines and rituals to keep them focused and in the zone, 
Craig, on the other hand, is a free bird and just goes with the flow. Udigatami, I believe it was, I couldn't see it from this angle. Craig isn't one to put pressure on himself, and he takes every competition as the next training section so as not to get overwhelmed with everything. Oh, right into inside to Kaku. Wow. That oh, is. slick hey. work! Do you limit your sensory input? On game day, honestly, no routine, nothing, eh? I don't, yeah, I don't do anything. Craig's personality is one of the major reasons the B-Team gym is fun to train at. We take your picture to make sure that once you get tapped, you can see the bell level of the guy that tapped you. We're, we're pretty big on humiliating, humiliating each other. The B-Team was formed after Craig Jones, Nikki Ryan, and Nikki Rodriguez left John Donaher. Since then, Craig has fully carried the team on his back, and several athletes have joined the B-team, such as Hysam Rita and the young BJJ sensation Joseph Chen, all thanks to Craig's influence. As a psychology degree holder in behavioral science, which he doesn't behave as, Craig has been able to manage the different personalities in B-team, along with some big names like Isaac Michel. His expectations about his role in the gym, obviously different from ours, led to some personality clashes that were sort of unresolvable. You know, some things happen that can't be resolved. And Nick Ortiz. Hi, my name is uh, Nick Ortiz, a member of the B team. I will be a coach. The Savage King of BJJ is always in banter and derives joy from going head-to-head -head in social media banter. His major receivers of this banter are Gabby Garcia. I'm gonna try to pass your guard this time. Uh, yeah, try to pass the guard, but like, don't try like lock it because I don't have my ligaments, okay? Just... Gordon Ryan. Because Gordon's always poking on the internet, he's always throwing shit out there. He enters a battle of wits and he's completely unarmed. And the whole New Wave team, even John Donner, also gets some sticks. For Gabby Garcia, Craig and her were scheduled for a grappling match that was later canceled. I mean, there's one thing I want to say, right? Obviously, I got Tyra Tolo next, but Gabby Garcia keeps ducking me. She keeps trying to delay this match. Prior and even years later, Craig has made it his mission to torment Gabby on social media. Now to the stage, nine-time world champion Gabby Garcia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since the fallout between the Donna Her Death Squad, there has been a lot of beef, animosity, and banter between B Team and New Wave, especially between Gordon Ryan, Nick Rod, and banter lover Craig Jones. Before the rivalry, Craig Jones and Gordon Ryan faced each other twice in 2017, both in ADCC and EBI. The he's going for it. He's Gordon going for it. He's got it's time. Deep, yeah, Gordon deep is not tapping. Trouble. Gordon will not tap. He's corkscrewing and he's out. Uh -huh. In the first matchup, under seven minutes, much younger Craig tapped to a Katagatami, initiated by Gordon Ryan. <laughs> Seeking revenge for his loss in the ADCC competition, Craig would put on an applauding performance against his arch nemesis. The duo faced each other that same year, 2017, at the Eddie Bravo Invitational. Since EBI is submission-based, both competitors could not find the finish until overtime. This was where the two-time silver ADCC medalist, Craig, almost submitted Gordon. Yes, But the king would prefer popping his elbow to giving up a submission. Gordon escaped and submitted Craig via rear naked choke. Craig has called Gordon too sensitive to jokes, and like the Kiwi he is, he would force more reaction from Gordon. First of all, I don't think I go really hard with him. I think Gordon is hes pretty sensitive. Once he saw he was getting a reaction and is by no way stopping anytime soon. To me, if I can just gently provoke and get a strong reaction, that's hilarious ruin your night but gordon ryan was back here he wasn't very complimentary of your performance well what was he saying tonight guys how'd you pull him off the toilet for the interview just <laughs> even with his playful and jovial nature craig jones is one of the most skilled grapplers in this generation and an even better teacher in 2023, Craig was undefeated in the six fights he was in, with four wins and two draws. 
Craig has stated he will be retiring for the past five years, and he has always come out of retirement every time. Craig, uh, throughout the entire camp, is like, this is the, the last one I'm doing. He's like, I hate doing this shit, but I've also heard Craig say that like 20 times. Craig's thirst for competition has dwindled, and maybe a chance to get one past Gordon Ryan will tickle his fantasy. Craig finds more interest now in teaching. And speaking of him as a great teacher, when going through transitions in submission and techniques, Craig is one of the best tutors you could find. You can see my right hand is stuck inside here. And what also is good about this arm drag, and it's the exact thing Leon did, which is genius, it's so easy. His serious side is down to earth and very relatable. He is the grappling coach for the future Hall of Famers, Israel Adesanya and Alex Volkanovsky. Outside of the mat, Craig Sherlock Jones serves as the journalist, vigilante, and judge of steroid users in BJJ. The Aussie born isn't afraid and shy to say he is also a steroid user. I like to assume everyone's on steroids and I have to feel bad about using steroids myself. Yeah. <laughs> Use all of the steroids. I'm over 30, it's TRT, you know, that's yeah. the medical definition. He never ceases to go after every steroid user who doesn't own up to it with their full chest. Breaking news, just like I predicted, a young black belt world champion has failed his drug test. 19 year old vegan Mika Galvao has failed his drug test. <laughs> I kissed my girlfriend. You kissed your girlfriend and failed the test. Who did you kiss? Gabby Garcia? Not only steroids, Craig is coming after the top grappling streaming platform, Flow Grappling, of how they run business in not so many words. The voice of BJJ stated that Flow Grappling wants free content from BT members. It would be great to work for Flow Grappling, wouldn't it? What an extraordinary company. Hey, Nicky Ryan, how would you like to come all the way to Houston on your own dime and do a free meet and greet with the fans? Can I at least get a hotel room? Flow Grappling. No, you can't get a fucking hotel room. And are not willing to pay any dime or negotiate commission, but they can go to the ends of the earth for their favorite son, Gordon Ryan. Craig Jones's uniqueness and authenticity are unmatched, and even Craig stops competing and goes full-time into coaching and podcasting. His wild takes on different subjects will stand the test of time and keep him in the news. What do you love most about Craig Jones? And who would you love to see him fight next?